All right, and on today's junkyard treat, I've got not this beautiful Jag XJ6 here, but actually that kind of teal Cadillac Fleetwood sedan in front of us. It's in reasonably good shape, and so I wanted to show it off. And boy is it, it really is not bad at all. I haven't noticed any rust. I haven't took, taken too deep of a look at it though, so let's go ahead and do that. All the body lines seem to be straight, and boy, aren't they nice. I always like a little bit of a, a crease or a nice sharp line. It's too bad it's missing what I would assume where the hood ornament went. If it had one, nope. Looks like it just had an emblem on the front and that's just a little trim line. A nice one, I think. Of course, you've got the nice Cadillac mirrors. All right, yeah, she's in pretty good shape. Little dent here on the trunk, well, a little bit of manglage of various sorts back here. Somebody took the little twisty part of the Cadillac badge. Here's one of the fender skirts off the old girl. So a lot of these old cars had fender skirts just to kind of help keep the body line flowing down without interrupting it with the wheel well there. This uh, soft top or what the hell do they call those? Tonneau cover? No, not quite. Oh goodness, what the heck is that? Having a hell of a time thinking of it. Anyway, you know, the uh, the tops they put on these old cars, this one didn't seem to affect it too badly. So if you look, there's not a ton of rust or anything like that. It just rotted off the car. Kind of get a sneak peek at that interior that, like I said, is in surprisingly good shape. These guys here on the front fenders, I believe, were indicators. When you turn on your turn signal, you'd actually see it indicate in these little things here, which is pretty cool. We'll get a Let's go ahead and hop in and get a view of that. You know what, no. Let's do the back seat first. Oh, wow, check it out. Man, this was a luxury model. It had the footrests. Ooh, and these are nice ashtrays. Check that out with this Cadillac logo in the, uh, in the metal itself, like engraved or cast in it. All right, let's hop in. Almost looks like this opens. It sure does. Oh ho ho. Ladies and gentlemen, ah, this fabric, once upon a time, was very nice. Like, really nice. Kind of a pretty reflective color, too. Still a hint reflective. We've got the, uh, wow. Got the wood inlay here, and it feels like it's a real inlay. This was a hell of a Cadillac. Hello, wasp nest. Boy, oh boy, even had a mirror on the uh, on the visor there, which a lot of cars didn't back in the day. Man, still nice and padded. <laughs> the afterthought rear uh, turn light, so when that became mandatory, they just kind of did what they had to. Look at these lights. Oh, it's a brougham, I didn't notice that. So that's how you adjust it. Boy, isn't that cool. Switch is seized. Another cool Cadillac logo ashtray. And of course these flip up, but still, oh, that's cool. So you can be chilling back here and put your feet up, literally. I mean, kinda, kinda up. Ooh, looks like wiper controls are on the door panel. How nifty. Huge glove box. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's check this thing out. We gotta check out the front seat. Ooh, a little stiff. I just came here for parts. It's a bit gross. Just came here for parts, but I could not help myself record a couple videos once I uh, once I saw what we had going on here. So yes, indeed. And they're still nice and crisp. So check it out. It looks as though when you push the wash button, you can vaguely see this moving up a little bit. It looks like it... Yep. I just got it. So it popped into the low setting. See? That's cool. So when you push your your mister, your washer, it would automatically put it in low and then you just have to go over and click it off once it wiped it all down. Window lockout. This was a nice little switch panel here. Metal door handles, more of that beautiful inlaid wood, real inlaid wood, at least for the inlay, I think. I think. Climate control. Ooh, it's got the little dialy one. These are always nifty. 
check out this curved, see that? Super curved dash for like a command center. Didn't have a horn ring, it actually had a horn button here. <laughs> the Cadillac logo is a bit askew, there we go. AM FM radio, yet another ashtray. Where's the climate controls? <laughs> you were just looking at him. I was guess I was expecting another set over there. So all the climate controls are entirely up to the driver. To hell with the passengers. You don't get a say. It does have a clock over there. That's kind of nice. Somebody at some point taped something to it, which is too bad. That's a trunk button right there. Electronically tr popped the trunk. That was a big deal. Oh, and look at that storage cubby up there. Pretty nifty. Got floor vents for the AC. Huge, huge foot pedal and brake, or gas pedal and brake pedal. Whew. Huge. All right, it's interesting that you keep the uh, the belts up there. Okay, let's check out the engine and then I think I gotta go look for my dang parts that I came here for. All the windows except for the front windshield seem to be good too. And this car is located at S&D Auto Wrecking in Sholo, Arizona. And so, this car is located at S&D Auto Wrecking in Sholo, Arizona. They do not tend to crush their cars as frequently as other yards. So if you see this video, it's possible that you look them up, give them a call, and they may still have it for parts if you need them. So this is a 472 cubic inch Cadillac engine. Big girl. Not the biggest, but a big one. I wish every car still did those uh, hood springs, but... Ugh. Oh well, let's close, close that up. Still closes nice, look at that. Yes, sir. It's a cool car. Well, thanks for watching. I've got a Lincoln Town car right here I need to take a look at. Hopefully they've got another one, because I don't believe this is the correct one, but either way, 